Hey guys, so today I'm going to be continuing my Wet n Wild mini series. A lot of other beauty YouTubers are posting really awesome holiday looks and festive like New Year's looks and stuff like that, but I, I think you could use this look for pretty much any fun night out. But just in case you're using this for New Year's, I think this would be a really good look. I'm going to be working with the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me At Hello palette, which has all these really crazy blue pretty colors. Okay, so this is going to be more of a dramatic, I guess what people would consider more of a nighttime look. I'm going to be doing that for you guys today. Normally for the Wet n Wild mini series I've got going, I usually do one dramatic look and then one really wearable look. But I feel like for this one, I feel like both of them could be considered dramatic or wearable, just depending on the person. They're pretty much in the same ranking, so I guess... Typically, people will call them both dramatic, so hopefully that's okay, and I hope you guys like this. If you'd like to see how I achieve this look, keep on watching. First, I'm going to start off by moisturizing my skin. I'm going to be using the Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This can be purchased at Sephora. And then next, I'm going to prime my face using Rimmel London Fix and Perfect Pro. Now that my face is primed, I'm gonna go ahead and start buffing in my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Foundation. And I'm gonna buff this in with my Real Techniques Buffing Brush. You can see that this goes on really, really well and has a really nice, flawless, but natural finish using this brush. I love pairing these two together. Next, I'm gonna be using my Maybelline Mineral Power Concealer in Cream and my Real Techniques Base Shadow Brush. And I'm just going to use this and cover up the redness around my nose, because that seems to be kind of my main problem area today. Next, I'm taking Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm gonna prime my eyelids with this. This will prevent any creasing, and it also help my shadow stand out just a little bit more. Unfortunately, I don't have a dark blue base to use, so instead I'm just going to use this Dila Kajal in this really dark gray color, and I'm going to just run this across my top lash line and just a little bit above it. It doesn't really have to be perfect. I just want this to be a really good base for my eyeshadows. So once you've done that, go ahead and take your ring finger and blend this out a little bit. And you can see that kind of creates a smoky effect. So next I'm going to take this little itty bitty Ego Tools brush and the lightest shimmery shade from the Wet n Wild Blue Had Me At Hello palette. And I'm going to apply this to my inner tear duct. This is kind of like a snowy color. It reminds me of snow. And then taking the other light blue brow bone shade and using the same brush, we're just going to pack that on the inner third of the eyelid. Now I'm going to take a MAC 239 brush and this kind of like teal color and I'm going to pack this on the rest of my eyelid. You can use any base shadow brush that you have. I just really, really love the MAC 239. Also, this color is awesome. And then I'm taking this dense blending brush from Sonia Kashuk and I'm going to kind of softly blend out the edges just to make sure it's all very, very soft. And then taking this really dark navy crease color, I'm going to run this through my eye socket. And I'm doing this little by little just because I don't want it to be too, too dark. And I'm running it through my crease as well as kind of winging it down towards my lash line. And then also that corner in there kind of bit by bit, putting a little bit of that dark color in there as well. And you can also take a fluffy brush and blend this out as you go along. And using the same brush, we're going to take that light blue color from earlier. 
I'm going to apply this to the brow bone and it can also kind of blend into that crease color as well. And then taking that white shade again from earlier, we're going to apply that to the very, very top just under the brow. And then taking that liner from earlier, the line just under my bottom lash line. Next, I'm taking this pencil brush from Eco Tools and taking that dark crease color again. And I'm going to apply that over the liner on my bottom lash line. And then using the same brush, you're going to take that teal color and apply that between where the dark color and the inner corner highlight meet. And next, you'll want to take any angled brush. This one is from Crown. And I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Black Gel Liner. And I'm going to apply this to my top lash line. Then once you've drawn a decent line, go ahead and draw a wing. And connect it to your top lash line. And then fill in. So it creates a nice winged effect. And then I'm gonna apply this to my waterline, but feel free to use a pencil or to completely omit the waterline. Now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and using that Real Techniques brush from earlier to apply it. And I'm just gonna apply this to my under eye area just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. Then you're gonna wanna set it with the powder. So I'm gonna be using this one from the drugstore and an Ego Tools fluffy brush. And I'm just going to go over and set my makeup. Then using my Jack Black Lip Balm in Lemon, I'm going to apply this to my lips. Next, I'm taking my Milani bronzer and my Sonia Kashuk fluffy powder brush, and I'm gonna do the E3 bronzing shape. So going through my cheekbone, just under my jaw, and also through kind of my temple. Next, I'm gonna take this soft pink cream blush from NYX. And if you use this, use the smallest amount. Just a touch should be enough for both of your cheeks. So you're gonna wanna apply it and really, really blend it out. You can leave it at this since this is definitely a nice flush, but I'm gonna go ahead and top this with a Milani Baked Blush in Coralina. And I'm gonna be using my Real Techniques Blush Brush to lightly go over that, just to brighten my cheeks up a little bit more. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes with my Japanese Skylash Curler. And then I'm going to apply some volumizing mascara. I'm using Lancome Hypnose just because it was right there, but feel free to use whatever mascara you like. And then last but not least, I'm going to apply this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream to my lips using this really tiny little ankle brush. And that is the finished look. So I feel like a lot of my dramatic looks end up looking like springtime looks. So this is very, very, very vibrant. This could be considered the daytime look of the two looks that I'll be doing. The eyeshadow and the other one is going to be a little bit darker. The main color that I feel like is really, is what really makes this a daytime look is definitely like this like teal color in the palette, this one right here. I'm really enjoying my Wet n Wild palettes and um, I really do enjoy making these mini series for you. So um, I will be doing the dramatic version of this look. So I really hope you guys like this. As usual, all the products that I use will be listed down in the doobly-doo. And if you guys have any requests for me whatsoever, please, please let me know. I'm off to go make myself lunch and I will talk to you guys later.
拜。